taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber like back with another Zen Crypto video, guys. So we're going to take a look at the chart, which is not looking great, okay? It's not looking... It's far from amazing, actually, okay, guys? So we have lost this level. I talked about this uh, kind of falling uh, falling or descending triangle that we had uh, in the previous video. How was it now? Um, it was sort of like that okay and then we got a break out of that which i predicted that we would get okay guys and you know since then it came back down i thought we might put in a double bottom and then bounce from there and it didn't okay it broke down below this level so we are seeing it we're, pro we're probably going to expect more downside for zen unfortunately okay what we want it to do is break this uh resistance line if we if we draw that okay we want to see it break this resistance line and this could potentially be a, still a falling wedge, okay, guys? But it's not looking great for the simple fact that we've lost this level, okay, guys? So we can play around with lines on the chart, but ultimately the horizontals have been broken, okay? So it looks like we could be going down further. I mean, with all of the gas fees and, and everything going on, uh, even the whole market is dropping. In fact, let's just go on crypto bubbles. And look what the whole market is looking like. Bitcoin is actually falling right now. Everything is falling. Everything is red. Apart from hex. <laughs> Apart from hex. Okay, guys. And BGB, whatever that is. But um, yeah, it's not looking it's not looking great for the price of Zen right now. Um Jack Levin has been preoccupied with this whole VMPX thing, right? And I've not even looked much into this VMPX thing, but every tweet I'm seeing over the past couple of days is VMPX, VMPX. Uh, Bitcoin is broken, more, uh, you know, BRC20, um, this Ribbit frog thing. Um, okay, Zen, he retweeted a, something about Zen there. Uh, look, VMPX, okay. Um, VMPX. This is just today, by the way. Uh, top 10 BRC20 tokens. So he, he seems pretty occupied with this whole BRC20 thing, right? So, um vmpx is number three this is trending on uh, the whole brc20.io brc-20.io okay this is the new you know bitcoin layer layer two bitcoin business that's going on and it could be the next big thing for all we know right but um i'm not even sure what the website is for this vmpx but it seems he's more occupied with the whole vmpx thing right now okay which so there's not a lot of, of attention going on to zen right now i know that he's a fan of bitcoin it always has been of course and that's how he got started in crypto he was mining bitcoin back in the day so we know that that's where his heart is but um you know with the whole you know zen dropping like this i mean we need more attention on zen um in my opinion okay because you know a lot of people would have bought up here a lot of people would have been buying zen in this range and you know it's falling but he would probably argue and say you know what the you know he's always told people to you know mint zen mint zen for free don't, don't buy zen mint zen okay so you can go ahead and mint zen but with gas fees so high minting zen is not really the one right now on ethereum at least okay you can still do it um i think the gas fee just to mint a zen ft uh it was about six thousand dollars when i checked the last time i checked so you know it's not looking it's not looking good at the moment and that's of course because of everything that's going on with, with ethereum with pepe and you know all those to all those coins okay guys so you know the chart you know i can't say good things about the chart right now um all i can say is this is of course we're looking at the long-term view on zen long-term perspective on this particular project i've been minting more on binance smart chain okay i did a few more mints so i've got a few more nfts over there and uh yeah i mean i, I checked the minting price on ethereum because i've been waiting potentially for some lower gas fees to be minting on ethereum before it was like fifteen hundred dollars now six thousand dollars the last time i checked which is crazy guys so yeah i mean you know it's not the it's not the video i want to make Okay, I want to I want to tell you that the price is going to the moon, but it looks like we could potentially see more downside for Zen. But you know, long term perspective, bullish, uh, obviously bullish. Um, you know, but you know, I, I mean, we're still waiting for we're still waiting for other projects to launch like Zen Doge, 
and um, you know what else is launching there's another one Zen uh, Zen Zenon I think the guy that created the Exelon Mars I, I believe um, so yeah I mean hopefully there'll be some uh, you know something launching soon I know Zen Doge is set to launch soon potentially okay but until then um, you know it doesn't look like uh, the price is looking too good but um, you know burning of Zen and you know more hype from Jack himself you know, more work being done over here. Of course, the X1 chain and all those sorts of things will eventually bring everything together. But uh, yeah, right now, um, all we can do is wait. I wouldn't be buying at this point because it's like trying to catch a falling knife. At the end of the day, you need to wait for some chart structure, some stabilization before you can start accumulating. So um, yeah, that's really what I've got for you in this video. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. And like the video which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one.